During the early 1600s, southern New England was inhabited by several Native American confederations. For about a hundred years before the Pilgrims came, the Native Americans had been trading with Europeans. This relationship fell apart when the Europeans kidnapped some Native Americans to take back to Europe as slaves. The Europeans weren't able to start a permanent colony there because it was already heavily populated by Native Americans who didn't really want that land taken. But during 1616, European tradesmen brought a disease with them to America. The natives didn't have the immunity to the disease that the Europeans did, so they died in great numbers. After three years, 90% of some of the Native American confederations were dead. Back in England, King James I was the head of the church. The Puritans were a group of Christians who believed he should reform the church. A branch of that group called separatists because they wanted to separate from the Church of England. These were the pilgrims. In 1604, King James started to persecute them. So they fled England to Holland, where they were allowed to worship freely. But they were worried that they're becoming more Dutch and losing their nationality, so they wanted to settle somewhere else. They went to King James to ask for the right to build a colony in America, and he granted them permission. In exchange for being shipped to America, they had to catch fish to pay off their debts. On the 6th of September 1920, their ship, the Mayflower, set off for the New World. After two months of sailing, they landed at Cape Cod. As they didn't know how to take care of themselves in the New World, they resulted to stealing from graves, homes, and storage pits the Native Americans had buried. On the 8th of December, they got into a fight with the Native Americans, but no one was killed. On the 12th of December, they landed at New Plymouth, but not on a specific lock, rock like people claim. Construction of a settlement began in January. Winter was hard for the pilgrims, and by the end of it, 44 pilgrims had died. In March, an English-speaking man named Samoset came to greet them. He explained they were building on top of a village called Patuek, where inhabitants had all died due to the disease. It was part of the confeder confederation Wampanoag. The chief of the Wampanoag was called Massasoit, and he had been watching them. The colonists wanted to trade, and so five days later, Somerset returned with furs and a group of companions. One of these men he brought with him was Tisquantum. He was more popularly known as Squanto. He could speak perfect English due to the fact that he had been kidnapped from Patuex seven years earlier in 1614. He eventually ended up in London, where he was taught English. When he returned, he found his entire village had been wiped out from the disease. Masasoi at first didn't trust him because of his time in Europe, but accepted him because of his need of an interpreter. Squanto had come to inform the pilgrims that Masasoi had come. Edward Winslow was sent to be a hostage, and after having explained the settler's peaceful intentions, he convinced Massasoit to trust the colonists. After being greeted in Plymouth, in New Plymouth, by John Carver, the governor, they worked out a peace agreement of mutual defence. Squanto was invaluable to the colonists, and he taught them to farm and served as an interpreter. By October, the pilgrims had a full harvest and had a feast to celebrate. Massasoit then showed up with 90 warriors and 5 deer to join in the celebrations. The feast between the Native Americans and the settlers lasted for 3 days. This was the first Thanksgiving. This peace does not last for multiple reasons. First, Squanto tried to rebel against Massasoit, who ordered the pilgrims to hand him over to them. They were about to do so when a sighting of an English ship stopped them. Secondly, this ship carried 60 English settlers who wanted to settle the land near Boston. They treated the natives there horribly, and so the natives planned to destroy them. The pilgrims at New Plymouth found out about this and aided their English countrymen in launching an attack against the natives. Eventually, more settlers arrived, outnumbering the natives. The original pilgrims' treaty with Massasoit lasted until his death. This did not prevent other settlers from waging war, however. 
They viewed the natives as pagans who must convert or die. Eventually, the colonies settled by Britain would break off from the British Empire to form the United States of America, which would go on to become the most powerful nation on earth. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more videos. Thank you.